Hi, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Um, my name is uh, uh, we are, uh, I'm currently a PhD student at New, uh, New Jersey Institution of Technology, which is uh, located at uh, Norwalk, New Jersey, United States. And um, I really appreciate that I have this opportunity to uh, to introduce my uh, the, the mentorship program also and uh, I and first of all I would like to thank to to the my mentors um, Mr. Vina and uh, uh, Panik and Mr. Ara Prakash and also I would like to uh, thank to the uh, you know the hyperledger community to to um, give me this opportunity so um, my the my project is uh, I think I think I have the longest uh, title of the project, uh, which is uh, extended uh, secure uh, DID registry for hyperledger framework on uh, GitHub or GitLab. And um, if you guys have any uh, question, just uh, feel free to interrupt. So um, so the uh, about this project. Uh, so in this this project, we are going to uh, develop a uh, DID registry manager, um, aka uh, DRNet, uh, which is a, a command line uh, utility that can create a secure, D secure DID registry on uh, GitHub or uh, GitLab, um, and this is this version is on the GitHub. So, um, uh, before that, I will briefly introduce what uh, some terminologies in this. So the DID registry, which is a type of uh, um, verifiable data registry, uh, which can be used uh, to simply refer as a low system performs to um, mitigate the functionalities like, uh, for example, creating, verify, updating, and uh, uh, deactive the, deactivity, the decentralized identifier. Um, and uh, this project, uh, we aims to, uh, aims to, to we aim to automate the process of uh, uh, creating the creating the security uh, DID registry on GitHub or GitLab, and also uh, it's going to be uh, some onboarding uh, features of for the new organization, and also uh, in in enables uh, user management. So uh, uh, we have uh, we have three main objectives in this project. So first of all, would be the uh, use use script to to create the um, DID registry. So uh, so the our system uh, the DRM, which is uh, has functions to create a DID registry for uh, a specific organization on um, GitHub. So uh, we named this, uh, mm, we named this uh, uh, DID registry as uh, GVCR. So, um, and the uh, GitHub organization can have uh, multiple rep repositories. Uh, same is the uh, case with uh, DID registries. So the, 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 the second objective is uh, about the onboarding. So which, uh, um, we pro provide the functions to add, uh, um, enable, reject, uh, restrict access to the members of uh, uh, the uh, of an organization to a repository, and also um, the and, and the last of the objective is to the provide the function to manage this uh, um, this the the DID registry. So um, so here are so, uh, uh, the deliverables of <coughs> of our, our project. So the first deliverable is uh, <coughs> would be the architecture design of uh, uh, of the uh, GVCR in the verifiable credential model system, and then um, we have to the deliverable two. Would be the the design document of the uh, for the uh, internal workflow of the GVCR, uh, which include uh, the architecture design and system design, and also some 
uh, uh, internal of growth. And uh, uh, the last uh, part of the deliverable would be the uh, our uh, the implementation. So we're gonna use uh, our DRM and command uh, to, uh, to uh, command it, uh, to to us to uh, create and update the the GVCR. So um before before I uh, uh, present the the GV, uh, the command line, I think it's better to uh, understand uh, um what it, what are we going to do and I I actually I spent a lot of effort and then to to figure out the the entire uh, ecosystem. So I, I I guess most uh, um most uh, um audience here maybe know this uh, uh, this this module uh, this module we call it as a, a very fiber credential data model um, which um which is used to for the uh, like uh, decentralized identity uh, manager so this this slide describes uh, the roles of the core actors and the relationship between them in the in this ecosystem in this ecosystem so um you can see that uh, we have a uh, a role the first row is a, a holder uh, which is a role where entity might perform like uh uh, uh like uh has a so which is an entity where a person maybe has a some uh, um uh the holds it's it the holds the uh, verifiable credential for themselves. So some some example of the holder would be uh like uh, students, employees, uh, customers. So and then uh, the second row, which is a, a issuer. Um, so the issuer is a row uh, where entity performs to um uh, to issue a, a verifiable credential to the. Uh, to the holder. So uh, examples of the issues would be some uh, organizations, uh, governments, or even some uh, uh, individuals. And also uh, there is a verifier. So a verifier is a role that um, uh, who needs to to verify the uh, whether the credential is uh, uh, whether the credential plus the holder is uh, valid or not. So, for example, like if you are you are students, you want to uh, get a, get a job, you uh, you want to show your uh, identity to your employer. So, and then your employee should need to verify your identity. So, uh, uh, the, in this uh, situation, the employee would be the verifier. So, and the most important here is. Uh, uh, the verifiable data registry. So um, this is a, a, a role a system to which is to uh, uh, to uh, store the uh, which is to uh, the about uh, mandating the creation the verification of the identifies um, the keys and other uh, relevant data such as. Uh, 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 verifiable credential schema, um, and also some registry and the, the and the, um, the public keys of the issuer, um, and the lots of things. So, um, so for here, um, in our project, I'm just um, so currently uh, in some existing uh hyperledger, um, hyperledger project uh, projects there. Uh, there, there are some existing projects. So, for example, the verifiable uh, data registry, um, which is uh, uh, the Hyperledger India has provided a, a distributed ledger to for this uh, as a verifiable data registry, and also the Hyperledger Iris. Um, some uh, uh, I, I noticed that some uh, uh, communities use uh, use uh, 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 Hyperledger Iris to Build the issue and verifier. Uh, okay, so uh, back to our project. Oh, okay, so I got it. 
So uh, in our project, so we're gonna have uh, uh, the issue and the, so uh, we're gonna replace the issue to to um, the issue in the organization. And also we, uh, we're gonna use uh, uh, the uh, multiple GBCR uh, plus the distributed ledger to build the, the uh, um, verifiable data registry. And some, uh, uh, mm. okay, so the, the GVCR will solve, uh, uh, okay, so this is one of the problem that uh, our GVCR can solve. So uh, we, use, uh, we use the system to store and record the DIDs. And also uh, we're gonna support the retaining date, uh, which is the to produce the uh, DID document. And also, um, and uh, we use some existing cryptographic op open source data storage solution to to store to for the as the, the trusted data solution. So here we use uh, GitHub. Um, uh, this is uh, uh, as uh, some use case uh, included in, in this uh, uh, project. Um, I'm I'm going I'm, I won't introduce this in, in details and everything is posted on the uh, on the GitHub. So. This is uh, some uh, the internal uh, workflows of the whole system, um, and also uh, the currently progress. So um, for the uh, accomplishments, we are uh, uh, we are uh, I went through a, a learning roadmap of the self sovereign identity system, uh, which um, and which I. I read a lot of uh, uh, specifications and papers uh, from the um, decentralized uh, identifiers and to the, uh, the specification about of the registrations and also the verifiable um, credential data model. Uh, and, uh, and next part, I, uh, I, I have uh, deployed the uh, integrate and testing a lot of uh, um, existing uh, open source project which are uh, relevant to our project. They are like um, Hyperledger, Iris, Usa, Indy, and, uh, um, and uh, the real and network and the other book, which is uh, uh, provided by PCG. And also um, we have, I have completed the uh, architecture design, system design of uh, our GVCR. Uh, uh, so this is uh, for the, some uh, pending activities and we're gonna do the, uh, the next time. So, which is uh, 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 the rest of part of the development and also um, uh, uh, API specific, uh, 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 API list and also a uh, markdown um, uh, tutorial document and a uh, swag, swaggy API document. So um, this is just a screenshot shows that um, the, uh, repository that we use uh, the script script to to build. Uh, so these are um, some recommendations for the for our future work. So in the project scope, we have to um, we have to uh, to to uh, uh, complete some uh, the rest of part of the implementation and also. Um, the next, uh, we're gonna extend the design to uh, augmented other Git provider such as GitHub, uh, GitLab, sorry. And also, uh, uh, we are seeding as a, 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 a half ledger project, and uh, um, and we actually we are seeking the opportunities to be a, a project as a part of the half ledger labs. And and for my. Uh, like uh, this is uh, my personal scope. So um, I'm planning to uh, continue this project for any improvement, documentation, or integration to any other platform. And also I'm considering to enhance some features. Um, and some of the idea is like um, to check whether the DID uh, revocation function or decentralized key management system are you know, feasible to be integrated into this project. And also um, 
I noticed that some like uh, research attendees in this area. So uh, hopefully my mentors can uh, continue to advise me on this on this area. Uh, some of the uh, uh, the insights I can actually I learned um, I learned a, a lot of uh, uh, in the past six months and uh, um, I think it's uh, uh, just one size is not enough to to make a conclusion so it, it's just uh, some uh, uh, experience I want to share that so every time so you have to do your research first and always check the professional document and uh, use the internet the resources that you can find the answer and uh, never afraid to ask questions because uh, your mentors and other people in the community are going to help you and start your code to get your hands dirty and uh, uh, have fun to join the, the big family. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. Thank you, Wei. Um, appreciate your insight about um, you know getting involved in this project. It's also relevant to your research um, um, uh, endeavors at your university, and also you're thinking about potentially proposing this as a project to the Hyperledger Labs. So appreciate your presentation. I, your uh, mentor Arun is on Zoom. Do you have anything to comment or add? Yeah, it was a, a great experience working with Wei, and he built uh, multiple architectures and never tired of coming up with an advanced version whenever we gave uh, feedback. It was a great experience for me to work with Wei as well as with uh, Vinod Panikar, who is also in the channel, I believe. So it was um, um, like, uh, uh, and the other one thing to appreciate about Wei is he most of the time he was able to work autonomously. So when we give hints, he was able to build it and come up with some uh, uh, finished sequence of architectures. As he already has exposure towards DAD as a part of his PhD project, we are looking forward to work with him in the future for the research projects uh, to continue working on the same. Uh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. And Hyperledger is uh, hosting a uh, Hyperledger Aries and Indie workshops in January and uh, February. Uh, I encourage you to attend to see, you know, what connections you can make uh, to those projects. Um, and we uh, hope to see you. Uh, looks like there's still a lot to be done about your projects. So we hope to see you right. continually involved. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much.